Welcome back guys. Today we are going to do a trituration drill. That is, uh, I'm going to show you how to triturate the powder and also at the same time we are going to uh, perform a geometric addition. And here as you may see, these are the following equipment that I and the powders that I you know, assembled. Okay, we need sieve, spatulas and we need a steel bar. Okay, and also we need mortar and pestle. And we have food color. We have ascorbic acid and we have and here we have a bottle that is already calibrated. I, I calibrated this 30 ml and to calibrate a bottle what you do is you use a measuring cylinder and in this measuring cylinder exactly you 30 ml of the water okay and then you pour to this bottle but once you pour the water into this bottle you this is how you calibrate you just mark it over there okay and also we need uh, a beaker and also a couple of uh, weighing papers also I have prepared as you are aware one person solution that means one gram in 100 ml right so I took 200 ml of water and I boiled it to uh, up to 60 degrees centigrade so I placed this one gram of methyl cellulose slowly using and steel bar is placed in it uh, when I boil it and so this is a one person methyl cellulose solution that I have okay so the first step what we're going to do is we are going to take this mortar okay and let's presume this food color is the drug because we want to sh uh, show you, you know, how to homogeneously mix the drug with other inactive ingredients which we have so let's presume this food color is the drug which we have and I'm going to put 100% of the drug to make, sh make sure you have all the drug in it so as you can see now there is nothing left over here okay so this is how you can um, that hundred percent of the drug is completely transferred from one container to another container so that you know the final component preparation will have the accurate amount of the drug okay now what we have to do is slowly transfer the same amount of the inactive ingredients to the inactive the ingredient is ascorbic acid as, as you are aware ascorbic acid is used as an antioxidant so I'm going to transfer you know approximately like 0.2 grams of ascorbic acid into the into this mortar okay and now I'm going to triturate them okay so, so this is geometric addition where approximately equal amount of ascorbic acid I added and now I'm triturating now once I'm sure that I have uh, you know it's homogeneous and some more amount ascorbic acid that is like previously added 0.2 grams of ascorbic acid right now so the total amount in this mortar is approximately 0.4 grams so I'm going to add 0.1 more 0.4 grams approximately to this uh, mortar and I'm going to triture it again after some more time now let's add the left or some more amount of around 16 milligrams approximately 16 milligrams okay so this is and I'm triturating again and finally you add the leftover ascorbic acid okay uh, this powder is now homogeneous okay so what do I do so I use a sieve okay I use a sieve to make sure that I have uniform particle size okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm, I'm going to use the spatula to scrape uh, the mixture the powder in the drug and the ascorbic acid mixture and I'm going to scrape you know everything from the mortar so that I can I'm going to have all the drug and and the inactive ingredient accurately okay and I'm, I'm scraping everything now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this weigh boat and this spatula. Okay, so I'm placing this weigh boat here. Either, either you can use a weigh boat or plastic weigh boat or also the paper weigh boat, whatever you like. So I'm now I'm transferring all this, which is homogeneous mixture now. Okay, and I'm going to leave this aside now. I'm going to come back to this later. Okay. Now again, I'm going to sieve in the mortar itself. Again, I'm going to sieve in the mortar itself. 
look I'm just placing it here and I'm tapping it with my spatula so can you see that nothing is there so I'm sure that I have uniform particle size okay for example if you're making a, if you're preparing a capsule or if you're making a you know, suspension you know, this is the proper way which we do but now uh, to this Okay, the leftover plug is here. Okay, but today what we can do is we are going to um, add a little bit more of methyl cellulose for this, right? So I'm going to add 15 ml of methyl cellulose to this. Okay, that is approximately 15 ml. Slowly. Now I'm going to pour this slowly bottle which we calibrated earlier. Okay. And okay. Now drunk back into my bottle. So what do I do? I'm going to, you know, use the rest of my 15 ml that that I have. Okay. And scraping the leftover and trying to collect the leftover drug. See? Of course, the spatula still have you know, some leftover drug here. Okay, I'm going to pour into the bottle. Okay, as you can see, the calibrated mark we are still left over with some more so I'm gonna pour some more you know means the left over that we have total 30 ml in this beaker so I'm going to pour all the um, metal cellulose one person solution back and I'm pouring back into the bottle as you can see exactly we we reach the calibration. Okay, this is 30 ml. This is the calibrated mark which I'm showing. All right, as you can see, I don't have any drug left over in this.